geothermal water is even more precious than the oil. Why? Because both of them use the same drilling process, yet water value is a lot less than the oil. Some companies use the geothermal water to produce electricity through an organic ranking cycle, ORC. It costs so much to drill for the geothermal hot water. You surely want to maximize the potential of the hot geothermal water, don't you? A dynamic simulation model is developed in VMG Sim Dynamic Simulation Software. As you see, the cycle is fairly simple. The hot geothermal water boils the refrigerant into vapor to drive the expander to produce electricity. After it is fully condensed in the condenser, it is sent to a receiver and then it is pumped back to the evaporator to complete the closed refrigeration loop. In this example, we want to see what is the optimal superheat temperature entering expander. Currently, the hot water pump is in the manual mode. That means it will always pump the same amount of water to the system. Currently, the superheat of the expander inlet is about 30 Fahrenheit. The expander is producing about 1017 horsepower. What's going to happen if we change the superheat into 20 Fahrenheit? Wow, looks like we are producing more power. Now we are producing about 1,058 horsepower. So what's going to happen if we reduce the superheat into 10 Fahrenheit again? Looks like we are producing even more. We are producing about 1,075 horsepower. Wow, that's quite an increase. So how about if we drop the superheat to 5 Fahrenheit? It looks like we are still producing the same amount of power output since we would like to have a dry gas to the expander, so we prefer to set at a superheat at 10 Fahrenheit. With VMG Sim dynamic simulation, you can virtually operate this plant just like a, a operator sits in front of the HMI machine. You can test out all your crazy ideas without worrying about the shutdown of the real plant. Thanks for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guofu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.